Hey guys, welcome to Zcode System here on YouTube as we have Super Bowl fever as the Super Bowl kicks off this week in Super Bowl 56 coming to us from LA's SoFi Stadium and this is going to be a huge game as the Cincinnati Bengals take on the LA Rams. And it's great to have you back here with us. I'm sure you're excited about the Super Bowl, which is going to be, according to reports, the most bet on Super Bowl of all time this weekend when the Bengals and the Rams play. So we're excited here at Zico System, and we have just posted our very detailed and in-depth preview for this game. Our betting preview, as you can see right there, the LA Rams, who are the favorites to win against the upstart Cincinnati Bengals. Now, as you can see here, I've got... My classic Cincinnati Bengals jersey on. I've been a Bengals fan since 1989, uh, 1988, 1989. The last time they made it to the Super Bowl, of course, they lost in the final minutes to Joe Montana's San Francisco 49ers. Some of you may remember that, but a few of you may be a bit too young to remember when Boomer Esiason and the Bengals were last in the Super Bowl. It's been a big uh, drought uh, of making it deep into the playoffs since then. Now, the LA Rams are going to be playing in the Super Bowl once more. They've won it once before. Uh, that win, though, did come when the Rams were in St. Louis. And uh, that came against the Tennessee Titans back in the late 1990s, early 2000s. 19, late 1990s, I think, off the top of my head. I can't remember. I remember watching that game, though. Uh, and uh, the Titans nearly scoring there at the end of the game. But again, like I said, we've got Super Bowl 56 coming up this weekend. It's going to be a huge event. And if you've not bet on it already, I don't know what you're waiting for, because this is going to be a big game. And we're going to take a look at Z Code System, uh, give you the Z Code System pick for the weekend. Uh, for the Super Bowl and uh, talk a little bit about this game. I wrote a very in-depth blog uh, yesterday about Super Bowl 56, and you should really go over there and read up on that. We're not going to cover everything that I wrote about and probably just cover the you know, tip of the iceberg here on this video uh, about the things I wrote about. Um, so definitely go over there and read that, check it out, and uh, let me know what you think here in the comments of, about the blog and uh, the video and uh, which team you're backing for Super Bowl 56. All right, so there are the latest odds on the Super Bowl, uh, courtesy of Bet365. Once again, my favorite sports book to use. And as you can see there, the Rams are the money line favorite at minus 210, while the Bengals are plus 175. Uh, now, if you're using Bet365 or any online sports book, there are going to be loads of great props to use this weekend or not, I shouldn't say use to wager on um, you know from halftime shows to the team to win the coin toss so the Super Bowl is fantastic for um, a lot of those really unique creative prop bets and um, you know they can be fun they can be fun to do if you have a little bit of extra money to wager uh, on the games but um, these are the odds for the spread the total and the money line there for that game. And as you can see, like I said before, the Rams are favorites to pick up the win in the Super Bowl, their second ever Super Bowl win. Uh, now the Bengals are appearing in their third Super Bowl. Uh, I believe it was 1981, 1989, and of course this year, 2022, that they have appeared in the Super Bowl. They've lost the previous two times. Could this be third time lucky for the Bengals? We'll have to see. Uh, let's take a look at the VIP wall courtesy of Z Code System and look a little bit more in depth and get a pick for this game. Okay, so if you've never used the Z Code System VIP wall, which I'm sure many of you have who are watching this video, uh, all you have to do is go to the VIP, uh, VIP club that is, click on NFL, set your dates correctly, and we've got February the 13th, which is when the Super Bowl comes, and that's gonna be the only game this weekend, of course, because it is the Super Bowl. And uh, just resize that. And as we can see there, we've got our picks and our great information here. So we've got some hot trends. 67% winning rate predicting the last six LA Ram games. Los Angeles Rams won 80% in favorite status in the last five games. And the Cincinnati Bengals covered the spread 100% in the last five games as underdogs. So some really good hot trends right there to follow and to help you make your bets for this weekend if you haven't already. Now, we've got uh, some things to consider about this game. Uh, well, A, the Rams are playing fantastic. They had that dip uh, towards the middle to end of the season, but really picked it up in the playoffs. And they've they've uh, defeated the Cardinals, the Arizona Cardinals. They've defeated the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the San Francisco 49ers. 
two of those three games were at home where, ironically, or coincidentally, I should say, the Super Bowl will be played at SoFi Stadium there in L.A. So a little bit of home cooking for the Rams in this game coming up, and that should not be underestimated. Um, even though the the crowd, the fans, are going to be you know not necessarily made up solely of Rams fans, getting to play in your own home stadium and stay in your own city uh, is significant. And as we can see there, let's just bring up those last few games there where the Niners have just excuse me, I shouldn't say the Niners, the Rams have lost just one of their last six games, and that was to the 49ers uh, on the last day just before the playoffs started, just a three-point loss there. Um, as you can see, the Rams are in good form going into this game, and we can also see that in each of those games, the Rams scored 20 or more points. Now let's take a look at the Bengals, who, of course, are underdogs. Let me just resize that very quickly. And we can see that the Rams, or excuse me, I should say the Bengals, have been in good form as well, winning five of their last six games, going through the playoffs being the Las Vegas Raiders, the Tennessee Titans, and the Kansas City Chiefs. And significantly there, the Bengals have won two of their three uh, playoff games so far this season on the road, going to Tennessee, knocking off the number one seed Tennessee Titans before beating the number two seed Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, coincidentally, this is a game of teams, the Rams and the Bengals, who went into the playoffs as the number four seeds in their respective conferences. So that is quite uh, unique that these teams will be will be pairing up, uh, pairing up as both being number four seeds. And it shows once again the uh, I won't say uniqueness, but the uh, the playoff systems. How you know you don't have to be the best team from the regular season. The regular season is just a way to get into the playoffs and. The playoffs is oftentimes is the team that picks up the most momentum and becomes the hottest that typically wins the championship or the Super Bowl. And as we can see, both teams are on three game winning streaks and are red hot. And as you can hear just a little bit off camera here, uh, a lot of people going excited for the Super Bowl right now, just uh, outside my home office here. All right, let's take a look at a quick head to head. Uh, these teams haven't met too often uh, in recent seasons, 2011, 2015, and 2019. Uh, Bengals picking up two wins there, uh, while the Rams picked up the most recent win in 2019. Of course, that was before Joe Burrow, and that was before Matt Stafford was with the LA Rams. So really, you can take these three games and stuff them because they really aren't going to have any impact on this game. Now, something to consider here going into this is the Rams' fantastic defense. Um, they were excellent uh, with their pass rush, and they're going to probably put a lot of pressure on the Bengals throughout this game. And if they can get to Burrow early on, it's going to cause a lot of havoc for the Bengals. Now, the Bengals do have Joe Mixon that can run the ball, but Joe Burrow's arm is really where the success of the Bengals lie. And unfortunately, the Bengals have a poor offensive line. Uh, they gave up the third most sacks in the NFL this past season. The third most sacks this past NFL season with 55, which uh, was only behind Chicago's 58 and Baltimore's 57. Now, now, the Rams defense, their pass rush was excellent this season, uh, and they had 50 sacks this season, which was the third most in the NFL. Uh, so like I said before, if they can get to Burrow early, I think this is going to be a long day for the Bengals and Cincinnati really has to protect Joe Burrow, which they did for the most part against Kansas city. There was some pressure early on. And, you know, when I was watching that game, the Bengals were at one point down 21, three, and I was ready to shut the game off and just go about my day. Um, but fortunately the Bengals came back. And no one would have expected that uh, against the Chiefs and against Patrick Mahomes, a team who made the Super Bowl the last two seasons. But the Bengals did it. And I think that even if the Bengals go down, say, 14 points early on, I think that they can really uh, hang on or hang around. Um, it doesn't mean that they're going to win, but I think that they can at least hang in there, uh, even if they go down, say, 14 points early. Um, now the Rams have just been really good uh, in the playoffs. And the over and under, uh, which they had at 48 and a half. Um, if the Rams get to the Bengals really early, I think that we're going to have an under, uh, we're going to be under that 48 and a half points. Uh, but as you can see there, we've got our Zico system score prediction. We've got the Rams winning it in a close game, 28 22 over the Bengals, a uh, six point difference. And that is also over the 48 point 
uh, 48 and a half point barrier, um, I should say. Uh, so we've got uh, the score prediction 28-22 with Zico's system predicting over 48 and a half points. Now I'm going to go against that 48 and a half points because I think the Rams will get to the Bengals early and uh, put a lot of pressure on uh, on Burrow. I think this is going to be uh, a lower scoring game, um, possibly quite close in the end. Um, and unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to go with the Rams in the Super Bowl, picking up the win over the Bengals. Now the Bengals have done great, um, some great things this season, and you know. Had they not had that come from behind win over the Chiefs, um, there would be a lot less press about Cincinnati this week. Obviously, they're in the Super Bowl, so there's a lot of press about them. But there's been a lot of, uh, you know, glorifying how the Bengals have, have been this season. And, you know, unfortunately, with a playoff structure, you know, the Bengals were just one of the best teams in the AFC. They weren't the best. They were one of the best. And, you know, the same can be said for the Rams. Um, both teams are very hot right now, and I think the Rams are just slightly better than the Bengals, especially in this one-off game uh, going to this. And, um, yeah, I've got to go with the Rams beating my Cincinnati Bengals in the in the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 56, this weekend. All right, guys, so that is our video today for Zico System. Be sure to go read the blog because it's so much more in-depth and uh, detailed than what we've talked about here. We've got some uh, some stuff on this point spread, the over and under, a little bit more in-depth on that. And um, we talk about a little bit more about the stats uh, between these teams going into this game. Let me know who you think is going to win the Super Bowl this weekend down in the comments below. Uh, as well, guys, please like the video and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on everything we do at Z-Code System. If you've not signed up for Z-Code System just yet, Go over there right now, sign up to get the picks, all these tools for the Super Bowl this weekend, as well as the tools for all the other sports that we cover, uh, because we cover a lot of sports, and it is just a sports fest there every week. And if you love betting and you love uh, making money off of sports and sports investing, then you're going to want to sign up to Z Code System now. All right, guys, good luck with your Super Bowl 56 betting, and I will see you soon back here on Z Code System.